care if it's preseason or not, Raider Nation. A win is a win. I'm going to say that whenever I can get the chance to, right? So, uh, what's up, Raider Nation? I just got home yesterday from my lengthy vacation, or, yeah, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now I'm back here with my nice, beautiful laptop technology, which is great. Um, but like I said, I'm back here. Let's go, Raiders, get the dub! Ah! Man, I don't know what Gruden fed those guys tonight before the game started, but holy moly, he needs to keep feeding them some more of that energy. Um, both sides of the ball look fantastico, you know? Uh, it, it, it was great. It was something that I haven't seen in a while. Considering it's only preseason, they went all out, man. It's freaking crazy. Um, just wow, man, you know? Uh, I'll try not to do this because I know you guys hit it. Um, it, it, it it's crazy. It, you know, it, 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 it's, it's really crazy. Raiders get the win against the Cardinals. 33 to 27 or 26. Let's go. Uh, that's always good to hear. Like I said, most of the eyes of the ball were looked amazing, and uh, let's get into it, man. The beginning of the game started off with some great fireworks due to this man back here, Josh Jacobs. Of course, I'm gonna rip him proud. Uh, uh, he started off great. He had four carries for 21 yards. He only played one drive along with Derek Carr. Um, but in those four carries, man, he was like getting everybody, man. He was just. Pushing everybody off, and he was making moves, man. He's definitely a running back of the future. It's, he looked really good tonight on his four carries. Derek, meanwhile, um, did great as well. He threw and he needed to throw. He went two for two for 40 yards on the touchdown to Ryan Grant, uh, which was great. He threw a, he threw a nice bomb to Tyler Williams. Oh, yeah, and he didn't dink or dunk. Uh, so I guess we're going in the right direction there, which is great. Um, all right, so now we're going to go into backups. Mike Glennon redeemed himself. Mike Glennon definitely redeemed himself. You know, he definitely looked good. He went 11 of 14 for 131 yards, no, 141 yards, and two touchdowns. One, two, um, Rico Gafford and the other one. By the way, the one Rico Gafford was really nice after he threw the long bomb to Darren Waller and missed him wider than a widescreen TV. He was the dude. Darren Waller was wide open. By the way, if you guys haven't already, go add the official Instagram of this channel. I put it up on the screen by now. Um, you guys, you guys have to. You know, I was, I went, I was talking about the whole game on the Instagram. So you guys got to go see that if you guys want some exclusive clips that you don't get here in real time. Uh, okay. So yeah, Mike Glennon did great. Uh, and then Nathan Peterman. I'm going to talk about Nathan Peterman later in this episode, or later in this post-game review. Nathan Peterman looked good, too. He went 8 of 8 for 64 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, 88 for 64 yards. So all three quarterbacks did great. Running backs, we already mentioned Josh Jacobs. Uh, Mac Brown, who the Raiders signed off the street the other day, played good, too. Uh, Jalen Rashard got a few touches, not very many. DeAndre Washington, though, is another story. Dude. I don't like DeAndre Washington. I don't like the way he runs. I just don't like him in general. But he might be getting some of his, some of his fandom back in my standpoint. He knows that his job is on the line. The way he runs is so energizing. Like, he knows that his job is on the line. He really knows that his job is on the line. And, you know, that's great. You know, because it just, it makes him, it makes him, it makes him that much better. It really, really does. He's so juiced. He's so energized, and he knows what's at stake, and I think he's going to make this roster. I don't know if we're going to keep four backs, but, I mean, if we didn't keep Chris Warren, I don't know if we're going to keep De DeAndre Washington. But, yeah, you can tell he knows his job is on the line. As soon as he as soon as he went out there, he started off with a 26-yard carry. That's all i got to say. So running backs did great, too. Wide receivers is where it gets really interesting. Tyler Williams had that one catch from Derek Carr. It looked good. Um, Antonio Brown didn't play. His feet are still healing. We all know that story. Um, <laughs> the helmet, I guess, is missing. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, uh, let's see. Ryan Grant had that nice touchdown, which he leaped 
Pro uh, he lived into the end zone for uh, my guy, Kalen Doss. That guy's gonna surprise some people. He had eight receptions for eight, 88 yards tonight, which was nuts. I love what he played today. Even though he only got like two yards per catch, it was still good enough to get the job done. Him and Nathan Peterman had had a good connection. In fact, Nathan Peterman threw. Oh, okay, maybe maybe yeah. Nathan Peterman legit threw seven seven of his eight completions to Kalen Doss. Him and Kalen Doss were heating up, man. So I mean, I I you know I hate the flex, but uh, as you guys can see on the screen here, I actually got Kalen Doss' autograph at the. Uh, Raiders Crusaders event back in back in Bakersfield, back in like late May. It was he, he's a really nice guy, and I'm rooting for him. He looked great tonight. I'm proud of him. That was one of my three keys to watch. Um, so yeah, let's see here, let's see here, let's... Rico Gafford is fast, Rico Gafford is fast, that dude turned on the Jets, he had a nice catch when nobody was covering him, and Mike Glennon threw it down the seam, easy seven, easy six points, honestly, I, it, he took it to the house, it almost reminded me of the Johnny Holton Catch the Derek Carr threw hit to him against the Dolphins a few years back. In comparison, um, so by the way, Johnny Holton's doing great with the Steelers right now. So good for him. By the way, rip the rip their wide receivers coach Daryl Drake. May he rest in peace. Um, so yeah. Let's see. Tight ends. Tight ends is where I'm gonna start parting. Tight ends. Okay. I said it in the halftime notes that I put on the Instagram story, and I'll say it yet again. Darren Waller is so overrated. Overrated. Underrated. Darren Waller is so underrated. He is so underrated. That dude. Hey, honestly, okay, here, here's what I'm going to I'm gonna leave something out here for you guys to sit on. Um, I honestly think this year Raider team is about combinations. And the reason why I say that is, is because... You know, we got tall players, we got short players, we got quick players, we got, you know, strong players, we got uh, powerful players, we got talkative players, we got all that, man. Great Hard Knocks content, by the way. Um, is this light bothering you guys? You know, we got all of it for the cameras, man. Um, so, you know, we got a little bit of everything. We, we really do. Uh, which is great, but Darren Waller has the great mix of hands and some good speed. He, like I said, got wide open, but Mike Glennon missed him wider than a white a wide screen TV. I mean, that that kind of sucked. I was mad because um, that could have been another, another easy six, and it would have been too. Back corner, back corner of the end zone. Yeah, you guys know the rest of that story. Um, so. Darren Waller, I can't wait to see what he does in the regular season. That guy, I think, is a dark horse player, dark horse player to win Player of the Year for the Oakland Raiders, or should I say, the Las Vegas Raiders? Um, by the way, I went to go see the Raiders Stadium in Vegas. I posted that as well on the uh, on my Instagram, on the Instagram of this channel. Um, yeah, but Darren Waller's got the right combination of speed and hands. I don't know why the Ravens got rid of him. But when the Raiders scooped them up on the practice squad as easy as they did last season, and we, we saw glimpses of it last season against the Bengals, but this season, everything changed for him. He looks so good. In fact, he's ranked number 10 on top 10 tight ends in the NFL. So, yeah. Um, Foster Maru didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro had four nice catches. Um. Foster Moreau didn't do anything. He was just out there. Paul Butler didn't do anything. 
Whatever. Offensive line was a little shaky once again. Brandon Parker, you stink! Brandon Parker, you stink! Brandon Parker is the worst tackle, I don't care if it's right or left, I've ever seen in the NFL. Brandon Parker stinks. That's not even saying much. And I'm not even being, you know, I'm not even trying to be rude. It's, it's the honest truth. He cannot cover. All he, does, all he does is hold, hold, hold. He got caught for three consecutive holding penalties. He stinks. He can't block. He can't hold. He can't hold up. He can't, he's not big enough. He stinks. The Raiders need to cut him. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm done with Brandon Parker. Oh, did you guys see that back there? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but Brandon Parker, he stinks. He's, a, he's absolute doo. He's actually trash. Like he can't, he can't block. He needs to be cut. He stinks. He hasn't gotten any better, and it seems like he's gotten weaker. Oh, he sucks. Um, David Sharp left the game with an undisclosed injury. Uh, Tyler Romer did all right. Richie Incognito, when he played, did great. In fact, he had my dad going crazy. My dad is all hyper about Richie Incognito, dude. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. <laughs> I told him he's going to be spinning for two games. That didn't go over well. Um, so, <laughs> You guys want to know? So I get home from school, right? And this is when the game started. But my dad goes, Marcos, who is that, that that fat white guy who the Raiders signed who's really big? And I'm like, fat white guy? I don't know. And then it dawned on me, Richie Incognito. He's like, yeah, yeah, him, number 64. <laughs> it was funny. Um, <laughs> anyways, offense, offense looked good. Defensively looked even better. <laughs> um, we got two sacks. Arden Key, honestly, you know I trashed Arden Key left, right, and center last season. You guys know, but Arden Key looks so much quicker, so much bulkier, and so much faster. He had two sacks. Uh, Kavinda got a sack, and Lamarcus Joyner got a safety sack. You love to see that, man. Uh, Jonathan Abram is an animal. We know that already. And the starting defense looked good. Our defense looks a lot quicker. They got alpha dogs. And I'm ready to see where the future of this defense goes. Because right now, those rookies that we have, that young blood that we have, is just a bunch of plants left in the dirt. I mean, seeds left in the, in the dirt. When they start planting, they're going to be great players. No doubt in my mind. Um, just like, wow. Um, AJ Cole looked good on his four punts, and, uh, Nevin Lawson got burnt on one play, and that's pretty much all I got for you guys, man. I have to do quick, I have to be quick on this because my sister wants to play her computer games, and well, you guys know how that goes if you have siblings. Anyways, um, so, I gotta edit this thing, I gotta throw it through my editor real fast, and it'll be up to you guys as soon as possible. Go Raiders! Next week, they're in Canada, man!